wanted to see this question. This is a bit different question where uh, I felt it is important. I just got it. Uh, so please try to practice this question. Maybe they may give you in a form of a paragraph. L uh, here, what are we going to do? Earlier, all the reactions which you have studied was oxidizing property. We have taken different, different, uh, listen, uh, hydrogen sulfide to sulfur, your Fe plus 2 plus 3. Now, this is a different reaction. Let's see. Now, they've asked me what happens when hydro uh, potassium dichromate reacts with hydrogen peroxide. What is the speciality of hydrogen peroxide? We'll see. So, basically, hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizer. Okay. This is one important thing you have to remember. Now, because of this peroxide linkage, it's going to form a, a different type of product. Yes. Where the oxidation state is plus 6. But that different type of product, they're asking us what... What is that different type of product when it reacts and we're going to show that structure. So they said a blue colored compound B is obtained when hydrogen peroxide is added to dichromate. Okay. So they have asked said when potassium dichromate right in the presence of sulfuric acid when it is reacting with uh, hydrogen peroxide it's going to form a blue colored compound it seems. Okay. What is that blue colored compound? First let us uh, take out this. First important thing K2SO4 as we know we are going to get K2SO4. We've done in earlier reactions also and water also done H2O. Important thing this is your blue colored compound. Here the Cr2O7 in the presence of peroxide is going to form a new compound or a compound formula is CrO5. What is the CrO5? <coughs> Chromium peroxide. Okay, how can I write the CrO5? It can be written like this also. See here, 5 isn't it? Cr. Now, 5 uh, for oxygen I'm distributing O2. Okay, 2. So, 2 twos are 4. I'm left with 1 oxygen. 2 to the 4 plus 1. Now, this is your peroxide linkage. Yes. So, this peroxide linkage, uh, chromium. Uh, now, the blue colored solution is because of the formation of chromium uh, peroxide. So, this is your blue colored solution. So, chromium peroxide. Done. Now, this blue colored solution further immediately, like after 2 or 3, this one, it's going to fade up, fade away. Why is it fading away? Because this uh, chromium peroxide further reacts with your sulfuric acid which is still there and it's going to form first two and three let's see what are they first it's going to form chromium sulfate cr okay so four uh, sulfate valency is two chromium valency is this because now the color has faded, fade, you know, the blue color has uh, faded away, it has uh, become dull. So, chromium sulfate is formed because of chromium sulfate. What are left out? Water is left out, oxygen also is left out. That's it. Simple, isn't it? So, these are the important uh, things. So, the blue colored compound, you can write it as an answer. A blue colored compound is blue colored compound is CR. O5 or Cr O2 taken twice O. Right? right. Now let us come back and do the write the stuck draw the structure of this. Now let us learn the structure of your uh, CrO4 CrO5. So that is your uh, chromium anhydride. So one more important thing you have to remember in the continuation of the earlier uh, identification question. So chromium, uh, uh, okay, if you say chromium pentoxide or chromium peroxide, right? So this particular uh, structure when you're writing, first important thing, the uh, the word which is given to the structure of this particular compound is butterfly structure. <laughs> butterfly structure so if they give you write the structure butterfly structure whatever it is you directly just correlate with your CRO5 structure and write it so in CRO5 structure most important thing your chromium is in the center okay your five oxygens isn't it now first forms a double bond now we have this four more now one oxygen here one oxygen here O and O the other oxygen here another oxygen isn't it looking like a buff, uh, the butterfly the but center one and two wings right so that's why we call it as butterfly structure so these two are linked and these two are linked yes now when I have to calculate the oxidation state of chromium here remember most of the students what mistake they do now suppose if I take CrO5 what do we do okay oxygen is uh, minus 2 ma'am 2 into 5 is minus 10 here so this should be plus 10 no this is wrong 
no not plus 10 here how do we calculate basically oxygen is electronegative here isn't it no it is electronegative so what happens this oxygen is going to drag the electron density and it's going to hold four electrons with it this double bond and after that this particular thing it's bonded we consider this is one entity one entity now this is going to drag one electron and this is going to drag one more electron total of two electrons by single bonds so one here one here total of two electrons so four here and one here one here total of two so six electrons so oxygens have six electrons minus six here and chromium obviously will have plus six so the oxidation state of here this chromium is plus six and for oxygen it is minus six remember that so in cro5 the valence or the oxidation state is six five this is important this is your oxidation state so butterfly structure now basically this is uh, the butterfly structure of cro5 is unstable highly unstable so how does it attain stability so this is going to form a bond with when it comes in contact with ether molecule it's going to form a coordinate covalent bond and then become stable structure so this if you wish to learn please uh, remember this is unstable compound to attain stability it's going to combine with the ethereal solution and that finally forms a bond making it more stable